Hey yo, hey yo! Today I'm going to be doing my full hair routine. This is the hairstyle that I do like 80 to 90% of the time. It's just kind of my go-to everyday hairstyle. And over on my Instagram, you guys have been asking to see the full hair routine for that style. So that is what I'm doing today. You guys more specifically ask how I get so much volume in my hair. I love volume <laughs> and over the years i have found what works really great for me and my hair to get the max amount of volume my hair isn't super thick i would say it's i don't know average i just know how to get a lot of volume in my hair and fake the look of super thick luxurious hair so with that we'll jump in so one of the first things that i wanted to talk about really quick is this shampoo i have been using this shampoo since i was like 15 or 16 years old and it's the Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo. I only use this like once a week. You definitely don't want to use it every day. But what it does is it just really cleanses your hair and kind of strips it of that residue that tends to just build up. Okay, so I take a shower. I do have to wash my hair every day because I have super oily hair. And then I do my makeup, and by the time I get done with my makeup, my hair dries really fast. It's kind of like at this point. Not quite this dry, I've been talking too much, but it's kind of like 80 to 90% dry and that just makes it easier when I blow dry my hair which I'm about to do because it just takes a lot less time. So before I blow dry my hair the star product enters the show and that is the Sexy Hair Big Root Pump. This is this is what does it baby. <laughs> I have tried other root pumps and they do not work as well. I love this product because unlike other root pumps once you blow dry it out of your hair, you don't feel it on your roots. So you definitely have to blow dry your hair and blow dry it well, like make sure that you get it to be 100% dry when you use this product so that you don't feel like that crustiness or any kind of residue, but um, it gives you a ton of volume, it lasts throughout the day, and you don't feel it in your hair. So what I do is I just section my hair off and I do a line at the top. This is a brand new bottle. <laughs> Took a minute to get out. And then I'm just sectioning it off into one, two, three, four. And I kind of do like, I do a decent amount of product. <laughs> I kind of go back and forth once or twice. So one, two, three, four, five, five lines across the top of my head and then you're just going to work it through your roots you don't need to bring it like down onto your hair at all i just kind of try to work it to the top two inches or whatever of my roots and then I just kind of take the excess and bring it to the back and the bottom so the next little trick is i flip my hair over when I am blow drying it to really pull my roots away from my head to give it as much volume as humanly possible. So then while I'm blow drying my hair, this is why I avoided doing this video, <laughs> this specifically. <laughs> while I am blow drying my hair, I am going to be pulling, it's hard to see, I'll try to get a better angle as I'm doing it. I am pulling my hair away from my head and blow drying it to get all that volume. I'll show you, I think. I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> how you doing? So then I flip my hair over, we got tons of volume and I finish it off while I'm like upright. Okay, so this is my hair blow dried. If I were wearing it straight and wasn't curling it, I would almost be done at this point. I would just put some products in it that I'll show in a minute. Um, and that would be all that I would do. But the majority of the time I curl it, it only takes like five or 10 minutes. So for me, it's worth it. I use a curling iron like this one, just one of those wand ones. And then I just section my hair off into the two sides. And then I just start grabbing pieces. And then I start like kind of like cheekbone down. So I don't go all the way to the top. 
and then I leave a little bit out at the bottom, like an inch or two. And then when you start to see smoke is when I let it go. Oh, I forgot to do um, heat protectant. That was only halfway a joke. I call it steam. I use this, I just got it when I got my hair done. It's Good Behavior Protein Smoothing Spray. I don't know, the lady just recommended it, but um, it's a heat protectant. And the reason why I like this one is because it smells really good. And I have learned that guys like it when your hair smells good. So then I just grab sections. I try to not go too big with them. And I just kind of start this much down. <laughs> Again, like jawline kind of point. And I leave a little bit out. And that's all I do. So I just kind of work my way around my hair. Super quick and easy. Once I'm done with one side, I spray it with hairspray and I don't disrupt the curls at all because they are still warm. Puh. I usually don't get my eyeball. Uh, and so I want them to set while I'm doing this side, but I also want to give them a little bit of a hairspray spray thing. <laughs> this one I go a little bit more up since it's a shorter layer and it's that face framing part. See that smoke. <laughs> this side for the shorter layers, I do go more up since my hair is side parted on this side. And then I spray this side. And then I'll usually do something like, I don't know, brush my teeth or something <laughs> while this side sets a little bit. It just needs like a couple of minutes to just kind of cool down before I start breaking it up. The third key to getting volume and keeping that volume throughout the day is using this product. It's one of my favorites. It's the Tresemme Dry Texture Finishing Spray. And it's like a very light dry shampoo. The dry shampoo that I use, like when I need dry shampoo, uh, like if I haven't washed my hair that day, is the Batiste one. But this is like, you can feel it in your hair. Your hair kind of has that chalky feel. It makes your hair look white. You really have to work it out. So this is like a full blown dry shampoo. Whereas this texture spray is super light. You really don't feel it in your hair at all, but it gives your hair a little bit more volume. It gives it texture. It helps that volume last all day. So I just kind of lift my roots up and spray it just at my roots. And you can see that it doesn't make my hair white. It does have a little bit of that dry shampoo feel, but very mildly. So you do want to work it. Once you spray it in your hair, you want to kind of work it out a little bit. So then at this point, and this is when it all comes together, I flip my hair over and I, hi, <laughs> I work the texture spray through my roots. And then I also break up my curls with my fingers just a little bit. I don't want to break up the curls too much. So I kind of have like very wide fingers <laughs> as I go in there. And then I just go in with the hairspray again and I kind of move my hair around as I am spraying the hairspray to make sure that it really kind of gets in those layers and gives it even more volume. <laughs> so just kind of like allow it to really get in there and that creates that fullness and that volume by just making sure that you're lifting your hair away from your head as you're spraying. And 
and that is my hair routine with all of the volume obviously some of this volume kind of dies down you know a little bit after i've styled it but it really does stay a long time i love this hairspray because it doesn't make my hair feel too crusty but it really does hold that curl all day long so that is my full hair routine and all of the products that i use i will have all of those products linked down below for you guys these three products are really the star of the show and help get all of that volume so i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments down below and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye